Hey, what's up? This is Sean with Think International, and I'm here with Bethany from BabySafe. And um, Bethany, I wanted to just ask first, where was BabySafe originated, and what was going on in your heart that uh, where the whole thing was just birthed? Sure. Um, yeah, you know, it's just kind of uh, a longer story than we have time for, but um, in a nutshell, God um, has birthed the love in me for the poor, and um, I kind of always had a goal and an aim of working with the poor and some of the world's um, most desperate people, and so I studied social work. Um, I did a lot of missions trips uh, when I was younger, uh, high school, college, and um, South Africa was placed on my heart. Um, it wasn't a bold dream or a call, but the country fascinated me. Um, and I had some experience, some uh, professional experience in international adoptions as well as child abuse investigations. And so I kind of used that experience and um, that passion and wanted to kind of invest that in a place that has more need, that's not as resourced as our country. And so um, through a series of events, the Lord led me to South Africa. Um, when I got there, I um, was immediately connected and networked um, with a local South Africa. African woman who really shared with me this plight of baby dumping and um, she had had a heart for a long time to have um, some sort of effort some sort of outreach that would prevent this from happening and um, yeah we teamed up and um, we started doing research we started asking around we wanted to make sure that this is a um, a realistic problem you know sometimes you hear a, a terrible story and it, it involves a lot of hype um, because the idea of babies being thrown away is shocking that that's hard to believe um, for many of us especially from the Western world but the more you ask around the more you recognize that um, it's happening and it's happening often there's probably not a month that goes by where there's not a news article in the Cape Town area and that's just Cape Town Cape Town is a developed city um, as far as Africa goes wow. so um, anyhow that's kind of how things got started um, and um, yeah. I wanted to ask specifically because having just heard you present at um, Power to Produce event, you shared about specifically what Baby Safe is doing. And this is, uh, when I heard this, I thought of this being an incredibly innovative way of being practical in impacting, uh, in this case, babies and just making a difference. Mm -hmm. And so can you tell uh, the uh, viewers a little bit about the, the actual what you're doing with the baby safes and mm -hmm. kind of maybe even where did that come from? Like whose idea sure. was it? A very innovative sure. thing. So. So um, obviously we're thinking, okay, babies are being thrown away. What can we do to combat this? What can we do to provide new options, new solutions, alternatives for women who are in this space of desperation? Um, uh, my housemate out that's at the time, his name's Jonathan, he had a friend who's South African who happened to be living in Sweden who was getting his master's in mechanical engineering. Jonathan had shared with Luke, the guy in Sweden, um, what we were thinking about doing, what we were praying about. Um, let's have a place where it's it's okay to leave your baby, a safe zone, um, something of this nature. And um, Luke said, hey, I can make something like that. What if we take um, the concept of a safety deposit box um, and and we actually connect it with technology so that um, this this location doesn't have to be staffed 24 7 we don't have to have employees um, to make sure that that it's always um, someone's there to receive a baby but what if we have uh, literally a contraption that can be installed anywhere that um, would basically notify us when a baby's placed inside and so he Luke came up with the idea he made the baby safe um, he continues to make baby safes because we have a goal of getting these safes throughout Africa and actually other nations where infanticide is actually a pretty big issue um, so yeah it the the coolness of it is that it's this box with a mattress um, we have it installed in the door of a church um, one of them the the one that I I live near and the mattress has a sensor to detect weight so anything 0.5 kilograms or more sets the baby safe off and what I mean by that is it begins to send phone calls to the staff that are programmed inside of the safe yeah wow wow that's that's incredible okay lastly 
um, if someone's watching and they just want to be a part, they want to make an impact in this and their heart's just being pulled, what, is, what are some ways um, that would make the most difference in the ministry right now? Um, we are uh, really trying to do some fundraising. We would like to establish, um, one, more baby safes throughout Africa. So there is a bit of a cost involved in making these, as you can imagine. Um, we also are um, trying to step out in a fundraising um, goal to basically establish a village of safety for women and their children. Um, this would include a baby home for our babies that we intervene with, as well as a discipleship program and job skills, job skills training and life skills, which is what many of these women need, many who are refugees. Um, they really need to um, have a lift up and get some training so that they're successful. So we invite people who are interested in helping to visit our website, www.thebabysafe.org. Um, you can learn uh, how to contact us. You can learn ways that you can help. We would like to literally just become friends with people and include them in our communications. We need people who would like to present BabySafe to their churches, to their school, to their community groups, um, and find out how they can get involved. We have a DVD they can show, help people become aware of the problem of baby dumping, and help people understand that they can make a difference, even just with their voice, um, absolutely with their prayers and with their finances so thank you great great and so if uh, in addition to the website check the uh, continued re reading button uh, to read the rest of the blog or the more info on the YouTube or down below in the Vimeo to just find all the links and resources to just click on uh, to find out more information about BabySafe well Bethany thank you so much yeah, and uh, we're excited for the things that come.